In today's soundbite, I'm going to convert a stereo track to MS, then convert it back again. Here's my stereo track. Left, center, right. Left, center, right. I'll start by splitting my stereo track into two mono tracks. It sounds the same. Left, center, right. Left, center, right. I'll pan both tracks center and bounce to a mono file, which I'll call M. It sounds like this. Left, center, right. Left, center, right. And now I'll bounce. The S track will be the difference between the left and right channels. So I'll use a plugin to invert the phase of the right channel. It sounds like this, panned into mono. Left, right. Left, right. You'll notice that anything in the center cancels completely. And bounce. I'll clear these tracks now. And import the M and S tracks back in. I won't play this because it doesn't make any audio sense. To convert back to left and right, I'll duplicate the S track. On one of the copies, I'll use my plugin again to invert the phase. Now, I can add M and S together, which will give me my left channel. Left, center, left, center, and bounce. And now I'll subtract S from M, which will give me my right channel. Center, right. Center, right. And bounce. I'll clear those tracks and import my new left and new right channels. Because I named these files ending in L and R, Pro Tools will put them directly onto a stereo track. It sounds like this. Left, center, right. Left, center, right. And let's compare the original stereo track with the one I've created. Left, center, right. Left, center, right. Left, center, right. Left, center, right. Thank you for listening.